for minor keys. The first key we're going to do is D minor. And so I've put La on D because our pattern of whole steps and half steps is going to start with La for the minors. Now let's look at what the major key would be if we use the same notes. If we started on Do, we would have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Su, Do, Re, Do, Re, Fa, Su, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Let's go on down to La. Do, Ti, La. And we'll start there, and that's our minor, D minor scale. La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Su, Do, Su, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, Do. That's called a natural minor scale. Um, so let's see what the what notes we'll need. We need D to E as a whole step, E to F as a half step, F to G as a whole step, G to A whole step, A to B flat is a half step, B flat to C is a whole step, and C to D is a whole step. So that's the key signature we'll need is a B flat. That's the only note we have that's not a natural. So here we have it. I've marked the B. Let's see if I can push those up a little bit so it'll stay. This is the B flat marked. And so here we have D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and D. And this is the, key, the same key signature that we would, this is the key signature. It's the same one we would use for the key of F major. So instead of starting on D, we would start our scale on F and go up to F but it uses the same key signature as F major. So let's do another one. Let's do F minor. So I need to put this on F, actually F sharp minor. I'm going to put this on F sharp, the La. And so we'll try, let's see what the major scale would be that uses the same key signature. Do is A, so Did we get all of that in there? Let's see if we got that in there. Yeah, I think we did. Did we get this? Oh, almost not. Let's move this down a little. We get everything. Um, so let's, the major scale is A, and the minor, let's go on down to La. La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La. So let's see what we need to put in our key signature. Starts on F sharp, so F sharp to G sharp is a whole step, G sharp to A a half step, A to B whole step, to C sharp is a whole step, C sharp to D half, whole step, and half, whoops, and whole step, E to F sharp. So it looks like we have an F sharp, a G sharp, and a C sharp. Here's our key signature. Key of F sharp, I need to make that say F sharp minor. I forgot the sharp. F sharp minor. That's our key signature. So the F sharp minor has F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And this is a bass clef or an F clef. So that's our F there. And this F is below the line. So we have F, F, G. F, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, and F sharp. So remember, we don't have to write the sharp here because we have it in the key signature. Now, this is a G sharp, um, just as this is a G. So that, that counts the same, just even though it's a different place on the staff. This is the same key signature as A. So we could take these two notes off and start on A, and it would be the key of A major. When we start on the F sharp, it's F sharp minor. And the last one is the key of E minor. And so we put, I'm going to put La on E. So we've got it. Make sure that's in the, our picture. And so we have La, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Do, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, Do. It looks like we have an F sharp. 
And what else do we have? That's, so now let's look at the major scale. The major scale is uh, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. The minor scale it starts on the E, E, G, F sharp, G, A, B, C, Let's see what that looks like. Here we go. We have an F sharp in our key signature here. And so we have E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. That's the key of E minor. If we took off these two notes and started on G and went up to G, then we'd have the key of G major. If we start on the La or E, we have the key of E minor. And that's a little review of the minor scales.